Hello, and welcome to Ender Lilies. Ah, uh, good start. We died last time. We died after making a ton of progress and discovered that we were missing a uh, shortcut. Go fix that. Uh, why are you not behaving the way I'm expecting you to? Should just start over. Should, but it's okay. I'll just rush. I won't rush. Play it relatively safe. Oh, I wanted to put the dragon claw thing on too. Oh, really? Got hit by that? Okay, well, it's okay. I just have to get to the I have to get to the shortcut and I can get my health back. Right, those guys can't actually hit you when you're close to them. should kill it because am I getting hyped by doing that? Wait a minute. Is this an infinite vertical? Well, not infinite because I have a limited number of shots. Now when I get to a bench I'm going to test that if I remember. That's interesting. Okay, that was way too slow. Why was that so slow? <laughs> Going the way I wanted to. Okay. Long way to go before I get to the bench.
Those guys are pretty simple at least. Oh, there's a shortcut here. Is there? No, this is... Yes. That was, um, hmm. That was pretty bad. But we found that shortcut. So let's start by being a little bit more sensible and also remember to do this, because I have an extra slot. This is two. I'm not in water a whole lot at the moment. Let's go with airborne, because I'm almost always doing airborne attacks. Yeah, and what are the ones I'm not using? Increase SP gauge by one. Reduce cooldown. Increase spirit uses, damage on ground, reduce damage taken. Okay, I've got 13 and 12. Well, I didn't see more heals on the A there. So I really don't know what that ring does. All right, you guys just fall. And there's my shortcut. Way better. Those guys are pretty slow to react. Okay. So now I got the elevator. But with the Dragon Fang equipped, I kill these in two hits instead of three while airborne. didn't work the way I wanted it to. In fact, these guys can't hit you up close. It's pretty funny. Here, there's a way down. Okay.
Uh, not the cleanest, but it'll it'll do. Oh, it's just a background castle. Oh, that blocks the uh, breath attack too. I wonder if it blocks this. Appreciate it if you'd stop doing your poison bubbles. It's still the enemy that gives me the most trouble, I think. would be nice. that way more awkward than it needed to be. Okay, so I went down, or I went up and I never came down here. There we go. Smash doesn't give me iframes. Hmm. Surprised that they can hit me out of that. Okay, you can turn the charge to charge around. Okay, well. Go back here. So last time I was here, I think I took the downward path and determined there wasn't anything. And then I died up here. That is false because there's nothing here. Okay. the archer first because it's more dangerous I was going to say okay we never got that far oh did you guys kill me Buffer the inputs on that a little bit, which is why I. Oh, right, this. Okay. You can buffer the inputs, which is why I often fire one more shot than I intend to. Ah, uh, you can't hit me up close. Shoot. Oh. 
Okay, that's decent. Right. Hmm. Just stop trying to do that. And actually dodge. I had no idea where your tra trajectory was going to end. Okay. So we're done all of our heals and we're not even at new content yet. That's a good sign. No. Too clingy. Was something I was thinking about as I was doing that climb. It's like the dash is slower. You wanna you wanna jump out of it because the dash has a long animation and she won't grab the ledge during that animation. Whereas she will interrupt the jump. I'm also not sure if this is actually faster. Yeah, see that's a lot faster. Go. Yeah, I thought I only actually hit that twice. Hmm. Okay, healing. Nice. And I think that guy hit us before. Oh, I remember where I died now. Okay, that worked. I died in a very stupid way. I was actually doing really well on this part. I could have gone up there. Instead, I went here and got myself beaten up by a lot of rats. But I don't have a good attack for shooting down. And as we've determined, Dive isn't very good for it either. There wasn't even anything over here, was there? Of course I did it again. Um, you look suspicious. Okay. Ah, uh, worth it. We opened a shortcut. And a bench. If I had just gone towards the light, I would have been saved. Funny how that works. And there's nothing in this room at all. And the only exit is up. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I can get up. For some reason, I thought I was going to be a vertical climb. Is this... A flower field? Here of all places? Could be. This is a separate room. Interesting. Story, boss fight, the dead end, according to the map. I was using the map to cheat myself out of, you know, spoil myself as to what's coming up. 
Um, we haven't had a boss in a long time. And the zone should have one at night. It doesn't look entirely uncorrupted, does he? Oh, the Mad Knight. Okay, let's uh, die horribly on our first attempt and try to get a sense as to what your moves are. Interesting. Uh, I was trying to shield that one. Uh, you missed. Why? Er, hello? Uh, what? Okay, don't try to heal. That's some sort of horizontal range attack. Hmm. Well, it could have been worse. Ah, delay. No, oh, this is terrible. I should just, I should switch weapons. I feel like range is going to be so much easier for this guy. Yeah. He missed again. Missed with that first attack. Oh, whoops. I didn't have the right distance for that. Definitely thinking what we're going to use. This attack set. No, oh, I don't have to respawn you between room transitions. I was curious. No? Also, if I do... Ah, that does so much damage. And I cancelled my heal to dodge out of it, thinking that he was going to attack that position, and I was off on the timing ever so slightly. And he didn't attack the position I was healing in, he attacked the position I dashed to. Okay. I wonder if spending more time airborne... It's kind of funny, because this guy looks somewhat bird-like. But at the same time, spending time airborne might actually protect me from a lot of his attacks. Not that one, apparently. Ah. 
Okay, this is not good. What? Hmm. Oh boy. It's gonna be one of these episodes, is it? I'm just gonna die over and over? Do I feel like I'm learning the fight better with the other weapon set? Uh, I could try upgrading a skill as well. I probably have enough to do it. Okay, don't dash towards this guy. When he dashes towards you, dash away. This is a dash away enemy. Unless he's going to jump over you. I don't know if that's a good move to try to do. Uh. How do you dodge that? I don't know. I don't know about this one. All these bosses end up being learnable and end up feeling pretty good once you get the pattern down, but I'm, uh, I'm struggling to figure this guy out. Okay, that was absolutely not what I was expecting to do, and he hit me twice. Excellent. Again, I feel like enemies maybe shouldn't have contact damage. Okay, that one hits you in the air. Okay. I guess there's just no time to heal in this second stage. Because I keep taking so many hits when I'm trying to heal on that. Alright, so this is a fight, that, this is a boss that you just don't get to heal in. Uh, first stage you can get some heals if you're sloppy in the first stage. But after that, there are no heals. Okay. Too early again. That didn't actually do nearly as much damage as I was hoping. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I still don't know about this one. I feel like I'm not learning anything on that second stage. Still too early, really.
Was I dodging too fast? Is that what happened there? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Okay, you have to stun him. Oh, what? Okay. Well, learning is happening. How do I feel about this set of weapons? Oh. Let's do some upgrades. Two hundred and seventy. Okay, that's not happening. I still don't have any of the ancient souls. Could upgrade that, but I'm not really using it. That's getting close. Okay, never mind. Could upgrade this. I've never actually tried this. Let's increase this thing's attack. This I'm not having a lot of luck with here. If he's bird-like, maybe a spider will be useful against him. Okay, there we go. Now he's vulnerable. Okay, but there's a little hop in the air. It made a big difference. Okay, that was not good, though. I panicked. I saw him doing the animation. It went too fast. And there's going to be a stage 3 after this. Yeah, staying airborne. Is pretty good. Ah, I saw it coming. Okay, stage three. Which 
might be weaker. Uh, okay, no, he just keeps going. I think that move is easier to deal with than the other one, though. The other question is, am I going to run out of projectiles? Misread his jumps. Okay, there seems to be a limit to how much I can stay in the air. Oh, shoot. That. Hmm. That, the problem that time was that I tried to use the Elder Keeper to air stall. And air stall only works with the primary attack. Forgot about that. So, it did not work. Heal here. Ah, I just tried to Aristotle with it again. What's wrong with me? Aristotle with this. Ah, too slow. Oh, okay, too slow again. Is it actually faster? Okay, let's actually... Is there a way to time this? Yeah, I can, I can figure this part out. How many seconds does this take to get to the elevator switch? Three and a half? Okay, I think that might be faster. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, let's test this. Okay, no, there's a limit to how many times you can fire it in the air before. I think I was getting a little bit of height off of it. But I guess I can only fire it four times in the air before I have to double jump. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of air stall. I want to spend 12 shots. I'm... I'm not learning. Like, very slight adjustments are happening. But at this rate, I could do this for, like, three or four hours, and I probably still won't beat the fight. I feel... I feel that's the level of my progress at the moment. Yeah, 
I kind of deserved that one. Now again, why did I dive? Ah. Yeah, I know I know I know what's killing me now. I figured it out. Okay. That was just me misreading it. Thought he was doing an X. Is it the same? It's probably a different animation. What's killing me is that there is a massive delay after doing an attack before I'm allowed to do a dodge. By massive, I mean like a third of a second or something, probably. Which is massive. Which is why my initial instinct of jumping out of an attack is actually a good one, because there's not as much of a delay that way. Yeah. For this guy, it's just do a full height double jump and then attack, and that's pretty good. Um, Too close to the ground. That wasn't quite full height. That wasn't quite full height. Well, I feel a little bit better about that round. Ah, uh, this isn't full height. was not full height either. Oh, shoot. Oh, even after a heal and not at full health, it's not good. I wish I knew the controls for that better. Oh, right. that. No, you still do both. Lovely. Also, I'm out of projectiles. Nope, don't try to heal. Oh, whoa. That was very fast back-to-back -back dodges. Okay. I came out of that dodge faster than I thought I could. 
I ended up dodging an attack I didn't think I it was going to be possible to dodge. I don't know how to explain how that happened. But given the way this is going, I guess I'm switching to melee for the final stage, which... Nope, dodged the wrong way. I mean, I can, I can air stall with the hammer too, which is just kind of funny. In fact, I can do it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I doing this wrong? I just realized. I can air stall with a charged hammer and then just sit in the air indefinitely, can't I? Ah, uh, didn't get enough height quickly enough. Right, that was my fault. I don't know, there's a limit. Uh, oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, let's, uh, hmm, now I have to learn how to fight this guy with the hammer. Okay, well that's the problem with uh, all that time I spent with the range attack build is that I don't actually know how to fight him in melee yet. And I'm going to have to learn that. Which means I should do the early stage with that, because switching to projectiles later is more feasible than switching to melee later, I think. Okay, right, I can't. Missed. Hmm. I think just attacking is better. What? That was a block that hit him and I still took damage. Ah, uh, no. I thought the opening animation just takes so long, I might as well do a charge attack. Okay, there was like no warning on that at all. Okay, that's a pretty good time to punish him. Mm, I'll see backflips into me. Okay, this is not good.
Uh, right, he does have that move. I could switch for stage two. Maybe I'll switch to range for stage two and try range for the rest of it. Okay, we're gonna try this stupid thing again. Okay, we got a hit. I dispense him at time airborne. And punish him when he does that. Actually, I, I arrange him. I didn't quite get him. Okay. Now we're gonna hit. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. frames on that. Okay, does he always do two in a row? Hmm. I feel like that went better. Uh, given the way that this guy always runs away from you, I wonder if it's actually better to try to be in melee range with them. way too aggressive. Being aggressive is not how you win this fight. There's all three heals down. You have to bait the attack and then you have to punish him afterwards. Which is slow. I only ever get the first hammer hit in. Except for that one. Six, seven, eight, shield. Um, wasn't expecting that.
Uh, no, you can uh, mix it up with either. Okay. Hmm. Okay, question about that. I need to really test this. Is what I'm trying to do even going to work? No, of course not. I don't get a second dash while I'm in the air. Okay, so for that stage, I have to actually stay on the ground. Because I need to get my, da my dash back. Wait. Okay, or I could just do that. If I time it right. I'm very bad at timing this one. Oh, okay. Going for the second attack is never worth it because if I hit, that means he's going to hit me. Ow. Oh. Except for this move. Okay, good. We got a ton of damage in. Was me getting confused because I hadn't switched weapon sets yet. That's fine. I mean, I could just do the whole thing with hammer. I feel like having more of a distance between me and the boss gives me more of a chance to. More of a chance to learn his patterns, though. Yeah, we're starting to learn it. Like, I should be able to do this stage without taking a hit. Contact damage, it's not fair. Contact damage shouldn't exist. Stand by that. Oh, he's doing three in a row. Didn't quite get it. Well, this means... We just go all in. Should be healing. Yep, that was bad. Don't go all in. Okay, it's been, what, half an hour? 40 minutes on this one fight now? I'm learning it. I'm so bad at this type of game. Like, in the Metroidvania space, I'm much better at the world navigation than I am the boss fights. Was me trying to get in a hit when I shouldn't have. There we go, we dashed through that attack. It means that's an attack we don't punish. Way. Anyway, it's fine. It's gonna change soon. Heal, switch weapons. I said switch weapons.
Okay, healing again. We're not healing. Okay, there we go. Don't get greedy. Oh! Ah, uh, why? I got greedy. I stopped trying to dodge because he had no health left. Ah! I'm not good at listening to my own advice. Okay. That went pretty well, all things considered. That last stage actually doesn't seem too bad. It just has the issue of of uh, you not being able to practice against it, because... It takes so long to get there. Oh wait, that's not how you fight this guy. I shouldn't be taking any hits on this stage. I shouldn't be taking any hits here. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I have to double heal. Okay. So stage two isn't that bad anymore. Contact. That's his worst move. I thought he was going down for the next stage. Yeah, no, those waves are the worst move because I don't predict them. And he doesn't do them that often, except when he does, which is when he hits me. Good. I have so many iframes during the dash move, at least. Ah, uh, whoops, that's... Okay, you got me with the dash. Ah, uh, I disagree with that. I was in the air. Well, heal twice. Oh, okay. I thought I was learning the third stage. 
And then he throws me off by varying up his timings. Like, he's supposed to do those waves and X's very quickly in succession instead of just waiting and pausing in between each one. Not too close. He's gonna hit me. Yep. Well, at least I knew it. It was an issue. Okay, and that was just me being bad. This isn't good. I'm kind of at the point where I'm tired and I'm just playing bad because I want the fight to be over. This is going so poorly. What am I even doing? Yeah, so let's uh, let's try using the hammer on stage two. Brilliant. Okay, back off a little bit. Staggers forward, and I yeah, hit him with one. Third hit was a bit greedy. One, two, that's all we're gonna do. One, two. Okay, that was. Timing was off a little bit, that's fine. I guess I had already dashed. Oh no, I was attacking, that's why. Maybe when I'm done this game, I'll pick an easier Metroidvania. Okay, I was just too far away that time, but that's fine. Oh no, okay. High frames. Rescue. Uh, for the record, I am actually enjoying this. Uh, this is more just an issue of the fact that because I'm recording this, I feel pressure to be making con constant progress, and I don't feel like I have been. Okay. I knew, I, again, I knew it was a mistake the instant I did the input. Okay, well, we're going to hit him down. Okay, somehow that didn't hit me. Also lost altitude. Really? Actually watch the ground on that one. I thought I was out of it, but I wasn't quite.
Actually, I thought that was going to be a, a bunch of spikes appearing around him. I didn't think that was going to be the pillars. Hmm. Not too close. Nope, that actually worked. Okay. No. Okay, good start. I shouldn't try to get in a hit like that. doing it, but I was already committed to an attack. Oh, that all went downhill the instant I tried to get a shield block in. How did that hit me? Okay, this is going to sound really dumb, but um, I just realized something. And that is... That when I'm fighting, I should be watching him and not me. That's a wave, uh, followed by X. Uh. Uh, surprisingly, shifting your focus to a different part of the screen is confusing. But that is Probably a very fundamental, basic thing that I should have been doing this whole time. That hopefully will make all of this a lot easier once I get used to it. Uh. Okay. So now I'm having trouble judging my distance because I'm watching the wrong part of the screen. He did that way faster than I was expecting him to. Okay. Okay, this is awful.
Let's me heal again. Ah, what the heck? Oh, I'm surprised I didn't take contact there. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, he was so close. If I had gotten the stun bar down, I could have switched to hammer and powered him down, maybe. Okay, well, learning has happened. It's gonna be an hour on this one fight. Mm. Ah. enough height. Uh, oh, whoops, I knew that tell and I just screwed it up. Okay. This is going to be the one. Maybe not, because tiredness, but... Well, what are you doing? I don't appreciate that start. Yeah, do that a lot. That's good. That's more effective. Do a charge shot in there. timing. It's twice he's gotten me with that.
Now he's doing the axe. Well, it's okay, because this is absolutely 100% the hardest boss in the game, so I won't struggle with the rest of the game after this. Yeah, that was... Uh, why did I go that close to him? Was pretty decent. Uh, I want to land to get my dash back. Okay, stage two is a success. Okay. Okay, I got hit with that. That's not good. Hmm. Okay. He keeps getting me with that combination. One, two, jump. One, two, dash. Hmm, I don't know. That's a good start. And it stopped being a good start. What the heck? Look at that. Still had a heal left and is basically full health. These flowers are for her. I mean, that's one of those things. If I ever replay this game, this boss is going to take like three or four attempts, probably. It's going to be so much easier. Now that I've learned it, it's just that I'm so slow at learning these patterns. I wonder if there's a way I can work on that. Probably just play games like this a lot. Uh, the defense of the Bastion was the longest and most grueling battle I've ever fought. Staved off the blighted hordes, defended the kingdom, but none were left to thank us. Now we're trapped in our own undying shells, just like the blighted themselves. 
I've dreamt of dying on the battlefield for so long. Now, I'll never die at all. I see a field of flowers coating the snow-covered ground all around me. The White Priestess was the one who told me what these flowers are called. All I'd ever known was battle. The Priestess broadened my horizons considerably. I was never one for long conversations. I never really knew how to talk to people. She would laugh as I struggled to speak, but never made me feel ashamed. Once the fighting has ended, we may never see one another again. Perhaps it would be better that way. The priestess said she loved this field of flowers. If any yet bloom, would it please her to gaze on them again with me someday? Over the Mad Knight slashes twice with giant claws, charging will unleash a series of gouging attacks and a devastating finisher, but leaves you wide open. Okay, that seems accurate to his attack patterns. Uh, feared by his order and dubbed the Mad Knight, Ulv seemingly lost his edge after a fierce battle. He continued to protect Snowflower Garden in seclusion. Bloody Knight's Claws, when facing a wall... The Great Claws of Mad Knight Ulb allow one to adhere to walls. Jumps can be performed after latching onto a wall. Alright, we have Wall Climb. And I'm assuming his other move can probably destroy those uh, Blight Barriers. The flowers you so carefully guarded. We destroyed them all in our fight. Polluted by the blight as they become, I find them beautiful all the same. Flowers in the background did okay. Heroic death. Alright, well I was going to save the testing this out for next time. But, since we're here... Okay. Pick up Priestess's wish. He was to protect her. Her Restoration Plus, a fleeting wish left behind by a white priestess at the moment of her death. And read. White Priestess, uh, white priestess's Bastion Letter. The cold makes living here kind of hard, but it's much better than that gloomy laboratory. I even made a friend. His name is Ol. I'm not allowed to wander around, and I have to follow Julius's orders. I wonder if anyone else who escaped as well. I wish I could write them letters, so I guess I'll call this one practice. Okay. Um, what was... Okay, requests, they mean achievements. I actually want to read that help thing. Just assumes you're going to die. Resets the elevator for you. That's nice of them. Okay, so a couple of things. First... Slashes twice with great uh, with giant claws. Charging will unleash a series of gouging attacks. So I guess I'll switch that out for that. Try it out. So that priestess's wish... that I picked up. thought that was going to be one more heal. I 
There's a lot of items in this game, a lot of pickups that I don't actually understand. Maybe I'll maybe I'll search, maybe I'll look that one up as well. Just playing blind and then there's not knowing what's going on because you're missing something obvious. I think I will probably look that one up because I want to know. I want an extra heal. If that gives me an extra heal, I want it. Anyway, uh, Olive took like an hour, but we now have Climb, which will let us do a few more things, and I guess we're done with... Uh, we're done with the Spire or parts of it. Well, no, we can probably get all sorts of places now that we have Climb. Hmm. I guess we'll do part four of the Spire next time. I will see you then.